Hello, my good friends, and welcome to One Credit Classics. It is time to thank you, the glorious members of our One Credit Classics Patreon scheme. Thank you very much to Justin Timpot Gamer, Prince Watercrest, Brad Wharton, Kelvin Cusack, Simon Nelson, Alex Cassidy, Larry Cusack, Patrick Sheehan, Talon Scave, Stephen Griffiths, Mike Gammon, David McNamara, Robert Farley, James O'Grady, Glenn Updike, Henry Nutt, Andy Pye, Chris Dabnor, Callum Stannard, Paul Ward, Simon Johnson, Duncan Gibb, Nobes, and Mr. Simon Deacon. Thank you, good people, so much, and obviously to the rest of everyone on Patreon. You can join Patreon for as little as $2 a month, and for that you get a bonus video every week and free stuff in the post. You also get entered into exclusive competitions. There's a tier system on the Patreon page, so you can give as much as you want to get cool rewards. Check out our Amazon affiliate scheme. There's a link in the description box. If you shop on Amazon, then use that link when you do, and we'll get a percentage every time you buy something, and it won't cost you anything extra. So save that link and get shopping. Finally, Check out the Video Wizards podcast. Every month, me and my good friend, Mr. McKeel Croder, take apart what was going on in a certain year between 1980 and 2000 for that specific month. We will talk arcade games, home consoles, but also music, news, films, TV, and all other manner of trivia. Get on iTunes and give us a review, or wherever you get your podcasts from. This clear featured in one of our live streams, which are all available for you to check out in the streams playlist. We do a live stream every week, and if you check out the description box below, you can get the link to the full stream where this clear happened, and check out the live chat, which has been archived. But for now, get a hot drink, get comfortable, and get involved. Let's get started. So the Masters version works well with only on the two buttons, so you've got punch and kick. Press them both, you've got like a flying kick. The thing is, right, with this, is you can't let people get in flying kick range. So you have to try and tag them right at the end of the of the range. If you let normal characters get in flying kick range, you if they flying kick, uh, you just always end up getting hit. It's really easy to watch it. It's really easy to take damage on this. The first couple levels, very flying kick heavy as you might imagine. Because, uh, nice. Uh, the whip's actually quite decent on this. Uh, yeah, the first few levels, quite flying kick heavy. Because everything gets dropped with one flying kick, which is fine, really. Later on, what you find is that people dare. Hey, oh, there you go. Nice. Is that people don't, and that's where it gets difficult. Because you can throw a flying kick at somebody, it won't knock them down, and then you're standing right in front of them. It did look like Rick Astley, I thought that. Now you see sometimes they walk on like a, a bit of an axis, like they won't walk straight, like he's walking straight now because you've reset him. But if they walk up and down like that, they're trying to get the other side of you because they're programmed to be like him here. And now he's locked in, he'll just go forward. Hey up. Nice. Get the old barrel. Oh, I forgot you. So he takes only takes one. Now the thing with these guys is they are quite easy to take out because there's no one else on the other side and he can't get close enough without getting hit. So he's automatically thinking to back up if you keep throwing. So we'll go in and get hit, back up, get out of range. If there's just one enemy on the screen this works alright. When you've got more than one it gets a bit, gets a bit more difficult. Solid. Solid. Sherbet lemons? What the fuck is this? 985 or something. Hey, up. Bollocks. See, I didn't even get knocked down then. What? I, I got caught with one punch. And it's already taken one thingy off me. You've got to be so careful with lives on this. Banger, yeah. Bang. 
bats rubbish on this. That headbutt, though. He looks like Uncle Albert. Oh, fucking only fools noses. Right, see if I can hit. Right, see if I can line them both. See? Barlicks. Hmm. I don't know. Can he? Better get one on them. God, I nearly got myself then. I mean, we've had to start. We, had, we would have had to start again then. Where are we going, boys? Right, I need focus here because I've already lost a bit. See what I mean about staying out of the flying kick range? It's a fucking nightmare. The next level's the one. Like, level three is so long on this. Like, and it's just... It's the fact that you can't just do that. Because everybody will uh, won't go down off one flying kick. So you have to kind of soften them up with jabs. It's so hard. You're literally just rotating round. Oh, I'm McKeel. Double Dragon 2 uppercut on that. Yeah, it's not a million miles away from that, to be honest. Bollocks. Come on. Can't just walk her off, surely. Problem with that is you can walk off the bottom of the screen as well. Uh, she's stuck there now. Well, I'll soon find out. Yeah, looks like it. Box. It's mad because you have got mo pretty much all the moves you've got in the arcade. They're just obviously uh, nowhere near as effective. So I've got like that. But I have got the back elbow. How many flying kicks this guy taking? Done. <laughs> I didn't really need to do that. Right, be careful here. Throw a knife. Get out of the way. He's going to run off. No idea why. Double dragon three on the Nez, yeah. Oh, that clear was something else for kill, to be honest with you. So... What I need to do is get one shot in, and then a flying kick will drop him, right? But they're a nightmare for this, I'm trying to change the angle a little bit. So you've got to, like, pull them a bit lower. But it takes ages to kill anyone. He's got dynamite. It's probably... See if I can... Hang on. Go on, throw that. Alright, don't then. Fanny. Nice, I love that. Right, let's try and line as many of these clowns up as we can. There's three, right? Come on, then. This ain't happening, is it? Unless... No, they're all gonna... No, they're all... Not one, anyway. So when he backs off like that in a straight line, they're a Tina flying kick up. Hence why you have to keep moving. Alex. Fuck 
get out of risk, that is. Can't take risks with this. You can't take risks on this level just because there's so many people. Fucking really difficult. Shit! See, that's the thing, you see, so... Fucking so hard. Depends where your stick is. This isn't a bit of... Has he got a... Nah, yeah, he has, yeah. Okay. Now, the woman uh, will only take one flying kick, but everybody else will still take multiple. Where are you going? I mean, it's a strong look. Jeans, a white, white like, muscle vest, and a fucking pink afro. Fucking unforgiving this is. I got him right, the guy covered in blood. Shit. Let's get a bit of room. Bloody hell, I stopped flying kick people for two seconds and there's 25 people here. Bloody hell. So the bat on this, pretty rubbish. In fact, very rubbish. The range on it's just terrible. Right. Let's forget these two. Both of them work, to be fair, McKeel. There you go. Shit, I forgot about that. Now, this is dangerous. Because he'll take two of them. So you've got to kind of walk him into it a little bit. Barlux gets flying kicked. Mint. Oh, I think I've kicked off the screen ever. No, I'm just about to get that. Fucking risk this is though. I mean, we're going to lose a life here at some point because there's still a fucking load more. Amazing. But you get one extra life at 30,000. Fuck off. A woman just... Fair enough. Carol Decker. Hmm. I love that. I never get that. Right, now if there's just him, at the short term, he shouldn't be an issue. If 
I get the back of the screen, I wonder if he'll try and get me off. Now the thing with him is now, the big fella, oh god, I'm the man. But what, if you do that, what they'll try and do is, that's when you can get hit by the big fella, because he'll try and walk through you to get to the, the other side, because they always try and attack on both sides, like. Come on. Solid. I can't lose another life. Solid. There's gonna be a lot of that. Fucking chock rock. <laughs> Might go get them both here. Half it. I was going to say, I went for him because I thought he might be nearly dead. There you go. We got now 27. The hell. For those of you who have just joined, I am trying to, for the first time for me, because I've fucking been stuck in it all day, I'm trying to uh, successfully one credit clear double dragon on the mass system. Dickhead. Right, if there's only him. Hey, up. Is he what? Oh, no. The fuck out. Why does he keep going? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Shit, we're alright. Get that. Throw this giant fucking mini egg at him. Nice. Oh, just about got him as well. That's a touch. Fair, he should just come straight on here. He fucking didn't want them hands, did he? Right, onwards. Fucking hell. Look at that guy. That's a strong look. Fucking contouring. That fucking purple hair with that with that blue fucking that blue wing fucking blue wing fucking eyelash eyelash look. Solid. So fucking Geese has been tuning into the fucking Jamie Genevieve Sunday fucking makeup vlogs. Apparently. My wife's hairdresser, alright. They're just, they're just on. Anyhow, moving on. Clear everybody else out and not fucking die. That's all it is. Dangerous. And if I'd have just. Alright! <laughs> yeah, you're probably one of the few people who does actually. I fucking don't remember a lot of them.
<laughs> Green nonce, that's quite... Well, it was, the, it was the 80s, to be fair. If you worked at the BBC, odds are he was probably a nonce. Question. Yeah, it was a solid look, that fur coat was. Uh, qu <laughs> it's, I see, I was going to ask a legitimate question now, but what I, anything I do ask is just going to look like an obvious thingy to just hit. It's just him, right? Oh, let's bang it out with him. Straightener. Right. How many people on here, right, show of hands or say yes or something, how many people here have eaten at a wimpy, right, in the last 10 years? Not ready for these hands. No, but before that... Yes, I haven't used a knife and fork. Right. Is it... Nice. Big up the wimpy massive. Is it only me that finds it funny that you can buy a dessert at wimpy called a brown derby? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be that funny, right? Too young? You're never too young for a wimpy. Get yourself a bander and a bun. Shit. <laughs> this is tough here. Alex. Because he just wants to fuck about and move around angles. Oh, dropped him. Go. One, two, three, run. Three, run. Pick up the wimpy massive. Right, where's he going to go here? Let's find out. Hopefully he's going to go right on this dynamite. Solid! Fucking dynamite ducks. I've still got the wimpy and long eating shot months before we moved here. That is a fillet of dick, to be honest. This music is good, isn't it? Run! Yes. He's a catch in these hands. Keep moving. Well, there's only one of them. I can just stand and stay still. But while there's two, like this guy's going to turn up now. He's got a knife, right? So like Eddie Murphy and the Golden Child. So what I should be able to do... Let's just fucking get out of the way of that, to be honest with you. Shit. Nice. Another one with a knife. Right. This represents a serious risk. What I might be able to do. Go on. Effort. Oh, no, Sal. Fucking hell. Hulk Hogan. Now there's no elbow smash at all. It's barley. Question, right? Another question regarding Wimpy. It was purely to make the Brown Derby joke, but this is another question. Did anybody watch uh, Dark Side of the Ring uh, this week about Dino Bravo? And if you did, did you actually know he was Italian? There's so many takeaways from that, but then me and, me and like my wife Alison were watching it and it finished and she went, did you know he was Italian? I was like, no, I didn't. Like, But like, I only ever saw the end of his run, right? And he's what, supposed to be like a mouthy, like French Canadian type, right? Madness. Great episode, by the way, and rather unfortunate how we uh, ended up getting shot over counterfeiting uh, fucking cigarettes. Did you know he was Italian, Dick? That's the real question. 
speaking as a pro wrestling fan. His real name was like, like Adolfo Bresciano or something. Shit. Right. Uh... Bollocks. Oh yeah, I forgot. Fucking... These take two hits. No, three hits. Fucking hell. Three hits, then a flying kick. So he's ready for flying kick. Still a banger, to be honest. Did well there. Shit. Three. One, two, three. Just fucking die. Two, three, four. That was very lucky. Get that. Now what? Oh, another one. Fucking hell. Are we just going to jab him to death, though? I assumed he was French as well. But then, if you look at like what they said in the documentary, like the start of his run was like the early 70s, right? Because he retired in, what, 92? After, what did he do, WrestleMania 7? And then they binned him off. I remember when they had him jobbing Axe or Jim Duggan. I mean, you've got to really assess your, uh, assess your career choice there. Yeah, there you go. There's the elbow. The back kick. I up. Do, do, do. Bloody hell. Fucking never ends. Hang on. That's what we're saying for him. Is this two? Let's find out. Yeah, one and... Yeah, that's all right. Oh, a cheeky elbow. Got him as well. Nice. One down. Hey, up here he is. Fucking Jeffree Star. This is tough. I tell you that that one looks like with the 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 uh, the blue eyeliner. Uh, Japanese women's wrestler, fucking Bull Nakano, a bit, but without the big hair. Better take this fucking big fella out, don't Fucking pot shot. I hope. I really better fucking try it. I'm gonna fucking struggle it. Randomly stick him with a fucking jab. Right, the time for fucking around is finished. The time for glitching him on the wall by accident. Never tried this before. I've just completely found this by accident. Stay up. Jesus. Fucking hell, I can't get any distance. The problem is now he's got that other way there. He's probably going to try and hit me. Well, he'd be a rubbish henchman if he didn't. Just fucking stand me. Jesus. Fucking hell, I can't... I can't mix it with him. Oh. Hmm. Still got some lives left. Not a problem, but... 
do with. The problem is, it's because they're all so fucking bunched up. Nice. It's, fair, it's probably not worth trying to kill them. For the time it's going to fucking take. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Too fair, as long as I don't get fucking shot. Hang on. Jesus. Hit me in the back of the head. What a dickhead. Nice. Oh, I got him. And that, my good friend. Holy shit, we did it. Let's go beat his mates while they run off. I don't think so, Bolnacano. Oh, we got it, man. Holy shit. Oh, I'm really happy with that. First time I've ever done that. Legitimately. Seen about McHale. Is that it? Or nice. Yeah, that's the bonus of playing at one player, I guess. That was fun. That world three was the the key there.